morning there soldiers. Welcome to this beautiful Wednesday morning. I think it's the uh, it's the 8th day of August 2007. It's a great moment to be here amongst it, amongst the hustle and bustle. The cool, sorry mum, the cool, the coolness of the Parkville breeze and uh, we're just going to fly over to the other side of town uh, with mum, get herself a new vroom vroom, a new Vien Heikel, Achten Steven Hooken and uh, give, give mum something to play with. Handy, finding that. And uh, give, give uh, mum something to play with for the next few days. So anyway, let's get going. We're in a little, oh, this looks like a little bit of a traffic jam. How about that, mum? Fancy that. Just a wee little traffic jam, nothing to worry about. Just something tiny. Just let this fucker. Don't mind me. Thanks, mate. Don't mind me. Don't mind us. We're just from the country, Alice Springs. Anyway, guys, Mum's going to pick up a vroom vroom for the day, and uh, I'm going to go get some um, antibiotics to go and dose up on those. Go get some antibiotics. Good for you these days. People pay a lot of money for that sort of head spin. I've had mine already. Mum's had her antibiotics, so it's a bit of an anti. I just saw a book the other day about uh, the overuse of antibiotics in the uh, Western world and how we're uh, making ourselves prone to the transmutation, the mutation of viral infections as uh, these wonderful uh, bacteria and viruses out there are adapting, they're adapting, they're changing and becoming tolerant to antibiotics. And uh, they're saying we've uh, started to bypass the body's natural immune system, the body's natural immune response to dealing with these uh, so-called little enemies of the body and uh, they're getting stronger, they're getting tougher and subsequently humans are apparently getting a little bit weaker. Our immune system is a bit debunked. So anyway, there's uh, nice promising thoughts for me and mum as we're on antibiotics. Anyway, uh, we're heading up here and uh, uh, mum's going to be, where are you going today mum? Well, I'm getting a car so that I am able to go to work to earn the money to do, to do, to do, to do. So that's what I'm doing. Excellent. The dooby doo bat, the dooby doo wop, the shoe wop, the doo wop. That's right. We're going left here. Yes, you pay money to. We're going left here? Yes, you pay okay. money to get the car, then you've got to get money to. Money to pay Paul to, to tell Peter that you didn't owe Paul, but you should have owed Paul, but Paul didn't know anyway, so Peter owes everyone. Um, and then anyway, I'm going to uh, run out, hopefully go see Nanda later on today, go see your beauty, and um, see how we go. I might be up here for a few more hours than expected, then get down to Joey at the, uh, the Big Blue Sea. So uh, anyway, uh, we'll see you guys shortly, and uh, enjoy yourself. Nice. Lovely. <laughs> Alrighty boys and girls, mum's got a vroom vroom and it's time to get to North Melbourne. Yeah! Oh, you little beauty. Get on you there guys. Uh, we're now uh, very close to uh, Parkville in the big smoke and uh, we've got the little you beauty preamp boosters from Billy Hyde. Look at these fellas. Look at that, eh? Look at that. These little fellas are uh, attached to the bass mics that we uh, purchased up there in uh, of our good mate Charlie McMahon, the superstar ditch player up there in uh, in New South Wales, and uh, we're just going to attach these now to that to give it a bit more oomph and select it onto the sound system. So it's um, it should be a bit of a beauty. I think we've got most of the system now set up. We just might need to grab another um, a uh, programmable mixer. Uh, to get back there to Earth Sanctuary and uh, hopefully we can have a bit of a, a bit of a damn good play at mixing up some of the milk tunes and uh, cranking it out. Can't wait to start playing with it. It's uh, been a long time in the making. So uh, let's get these back to uh, Mount Martha, give them a bit of a play and see what sort of sounds we can crank up. While we're here, there's a bit of a, um, a conglomerate over there behind us. Can you see these uh, strange looking sticks over here? It's hard to miss them. That's courtesy of our uh, former Premier of Victoria, uh, Sir uh, Sir Jeff Kennett, the great cunt hocks. Anyway, jump back in the car, get going, let's get back to Parkville and uh, get away from it. It's a beautiful sunny day, it's a Wednesday. See you soon, bye bye. How you doing there everyone? And uh, welcome to Nunna's place. 
We're in the afternoon, it's about four o'clock, and Nanda's made some beautiful kak de lasa. These ones here. Did I say that right, Nanda? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Kak de lasa. Beautiful. 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 These, these are lovely. Got a bit of honey in them as well. They're good to have with a uh, with a bit of tea or a coffee. Yeah. And this is what chair leg Roger will uh, scoff like there's you no know tomorrow. What, you know how much you sell it? The pastiche, this one, but a bit bigger. How much that one? Dollar each. One dollar. Oh yeah. Hey, hey. You've got. Yeah. You've got at least forty in there, Nana. Yes. That's nice. That's, that's, uh, and these little ones here, these are beautiful little pastries, mm -hmm. these ones, and then there's made these ones here. Yes. Look at those, eh? Yes. Very lovely. Look, 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 look. And these ones are coming to Mount Martha, yeah. and none is beautiful lemons from the lemon tree. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> All very good. So uh, Danny, Benny up there in the red centre, bon appetit. And uh, we're uh, going to hang out here for a little bit and then uh, get down to Mount Martha shortly and get out of the city. But uh, Nun is doing very well. And little Lucy here. How you doing, Lucy? How you doing, soldier? Hey? <laughs> There you go. Don't the house, That's right, you hear that? Be careful of the budgies. Be careful with the budgies. Those budgies, not yes, good. Today they are naughty. Uh -huh. Just with their now. Watch those budgies, they're troublemakers. Yes, so you will take, take half of your flat. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Keep that in mind. Be very careful. You can never be too careful of the tell budgies. Them, tell them, tell them, be careful. <laughs> Because the girls today very, very naughty. They use him. Without them. Beautiful because. <laughs> Alright, be careful of those women out there. You can never be too careful. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> okay, then. No worries, no, no. Beautiful. Exactly 365 days ago, the great Phil Lane, our grandpa and mum's dad, and uh, he decided to uh, pass through into the astral planes and unite with the greater realms of our ancestry. And uh, since that date, it's uh, been amazing in communications with Pa, who's been around us uh, in great strength and uh, a great guide and a mountain of hope for the Galactic Federation, uh, Pa and to Gran and uh, to all the other superstars who are in the realms as we speak, constantly tweaking the dense realm to make sure that the unification of the planet Earth comes to fruition. Uh, they are the, uh, the silent keepers of the, uh, of the future for planet Earth. Uh, to Pa, it's been an anniversary. You are an absolute superstar and a mountain in our world and uh, your strength and uh, your solidarity in uh, doing the right thing by yourself and by everyone is uh, always something that, uh, that has driven us and kept us very motivated and very inspired. So uh, to you, Pa, we love you very much. And it's wonderful having you around us wherever we go. And uh, we look forward to all the many adventures ahead. This is 365 days. Uh, every moment we've ever shared is just an inspiration. And uh, we love the uh, friendship and the guidance that uh, you've given us over so many years. You are a true superstar. Good on you, Phil Lane, 365 days since the astral alignment.